Greetings and salutations, friends. What's in the box? What I want to introduce you to is my friend John. My new friend, John. John who? John DeLorean. Taylor exclusive. Three inch. Seven shot. Ruger. GP100. Look at those grips. Look at that fiber optic front sight. Look at that unfluted cylinder. Look at that hard to find, at least in seven shot, three inch ideal carry barrel. John DeLorean. already been checked empty firearm guys Ruger GP 100s are something that'll just last and last and last these things are strong very very strong and there's reasons for that you got a lockup point back here the back of the cylinder typical you got a lockup point down here, and most importantly, you have a third lockup point at the crane right there. So these things lock up very, very solid. Look, there's very little play in this. Very little play in all chambers. I checked before transferring it. Okay, fully shrouded heavy barrel that help keeps the recoil down this bad boy is 38 ounces the typical two and a half inch version you'll see is 36 ounces this Taylor exclusive three inch barrel and these really nice wooden grips now you know sight unseen i was never able to you know they're, they're not on any other editions i think this is the only revolver that comes with these grips and i actually fit my hand really well we'll see how they do in recoil but it actually is perfect fits my hand really really well while we're at it, let's look at that sight picture, that fiber optic front sight. In case you're fighting any knights. Let's look at the business end. Well, I'm not worried. Why is that, pal? Because my buddy John's here. John DeLorean. Looking down the barrel of a gun, son of a gun. So, unfluted cylinder, guys. I really like the look. Three-inch barrel, guys. Three-inch barrel is going to give you the ideal balance. It balances beautifully. If you're looking for 357 Magnum, highly recommend finding the, uh, the hard-to-find three-inch barrels, which are ideal for carry. The ballistics advantage you're going to have is almost that. And you can look at Lucky Gunner. Did a big study. Three-inch barrels generally get a good amount of the performance that a four inch barrel does. It's probably like six or 8% less, 9% less. It's not that much. I think it's only, you know, maybe three to four inch difference. It's probably like 85 feet per second. I'm guessing now I'm not Paul Harrell, but this three inch barrel is going to give you huge advantage over the typical two inch or one and seven eighths inch where 357 Magnum. Yes. It's more powerful than 38. Uh, special plus P, but it's nowhere near what a three inch will give you. Even the two and a half inch version, don't really know, is, is not really going to get you where you need to go. Three inch is going to get you for self-defense purposes where you need, no matter kind of what ammo you have. So if you have a, the mid range kind of modern hollow point design, like a 125 plus P golden saber, um, or 125 golden saber, that's fine. Or a Barnes, 125 XPD, that's fine, but you can also with a three inch go old school like I'm planning on doing with a federal 125 grain semi jacketed hollow point or 158 grade semi jacketed hollow point. Don't worry, folks, we're going to see a lot of shooting with this. I got all kinds of ammo on the range 125, 158, Fiocchi's, and the federal loads that are really, really hot. Should be pushing about 1400. 
uh, feet per second. And um, checking accuracy, checking split times with different loads. Got some 38 Special Plus P uh, hollow points coming. Mostly as plinking ammo. And um, I got three seven shot HKS speed loaders coming. I have a lot of different holsters and different holster brands coming that I'm going to be reviewing. And so you guys will know about the different holsters, different holster types for carry. And you'll know if you are looking to get a GP100, which holsters I like and which types of carry. Because it is heavy, but it's not that as heavy as I thought it was going to feel on the hand. Now, um, occasionally this may be my open carry gun where I'm at a very well-known place where I go all the time, restaurant, and um, show it off a bit. So, and I'm also going to have concealment, and I'm going to conceal it under vests and, and things of that nature. Let's check out the trigger pull. Very, very smooth, double action trigger pull. Probably at about 10.2, 10.4 pounds. I haven't measured it, but that should be about where it's at. About a three, three and a half, I think low three pound single action pull, I believe. And I actually like the trigger pull on this better than the, the 686. I compared them a few days ago. Um, 686, great gun, but I believe this is stronger. Not for the reasons that most people say on the internet, but I believe it's stronger. And I like the trigger pull better because you can see how easily you can stack it there. And that's what they used to teach a lot, like at Quantico to FBI and whatnot. So you could fire heavy recoiling 357 Magnum and then start stacking the trigger to fire again and start checking the trigger again, like a striker fired where you're only letting out until the break, uh, sort of. So, you know, to the wall, to the reset, and then going from there. So this is John DeLorean, Taylor exclusive. There's no other videos on YouTube about this, not even on 3-inch GP100s or some ballistic tests, but definitely not this model, definitely not a 3-inch 7 shot with these grips. Taylor exclusive, fiber optic front, much better than the typical black post. So this is something, yes, I am going to carry for self-defense. I'll always carry a backup um, as well because I'm limited, but I'm not only limited to 6 shots. I got seven. I'll have speed loaders. I got some speed strips coming. And so, guys, please look for the video or what I'm going to edit in here. All kinds of shooting and thoughts on recoil and split times and all that. I thought you would all like to see the unboxing of this Talo exclusive 3-inch Ruger GP100 7-shot. 357 Magnum. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. And uh, bringing you these firearms, holster reviews, and things of that nature. Thank you very much.